Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to explain how to transfer files between your Android device and your computer. Now, this could be an Android phone or tablet, and the computer we'll be using in this instance is a Windows computer just because of the most popular computer operating system. So a couple of years ago I actually made a video on how to transfer files between your computer and your Android device. Um, you can find a link to that video just over here or in the video description as well. And that applies to Android I believe 4.0 and older. Whereas a lot of new devices have this new method that's been out for a couple of years now so I decided to revamp this video and provide this new information. So if you're not tech savvy I'm going to explain how to connect your device to your computer and how to transfer files between your computer and this Android device or maybe tablet, same concept. But if you're tech savvy and you have it connected but you can't see your Android device appearing in your computer, I'm going to explain a few workaround methods and fixes that you can try applying. These are the most common uh, troubleshooting fixes available. So first things first, how do you connect an Android device to a computer and transfer files? Basic, very basic, straight to the point, very simple. You're going to get your Android wire that comes out of your box with your device, whether it be your phone or tablet. This is the preferred thing to use. Sometimes if you're using a third party wire, it might be defective and not work. It might work for some devices and might not work for others. So try to use the one that comes out of the box. Um, typically this is attached to your charging cord. So here's our charging unit for AC adapter. This is the wire. So we don't need this anymore. We're not charging the device. We want to transfer files between your device and your computer. This is all you need. Now, one end will be designed strictly to fit in your phone. It won't fit the other way around. You can't mix this up, it's just not physically possible, it won't fit. So one end is going to connect to your phone. Now the part that connects to your phone, if you end up borrowing one from someone or you bought a new one, it may or may not fit. Um, there's three known different configurations. One is micro USB which is the most common. It's just like two straight edges, a little hard to show you guys. Another one is USB-C. This is the most common one used nowadays, well it's starting to pick up rather, it's a more correct term. It's completely rounded, there's no jagged edges on the port, it's just a completely like smooth uh, oval shape. Another one is a USB 3.0 wire which came with the North American version of the Galaxy S5 which wasn't really popular because it was kind of a chunky wire so you might not really have that one. So the fitting to connect your wire is very specific, you can't screw it up. So the USB cord you use attached to your phone, the other side has to be attached to your computer by plugging into a USB port. Again, it'll only fit in one particular port on your computer. So when you have your device connected and everything's working just fine, um, in case you don't have to go any troubleshooting steps, you might notice, say in Windows 10 for example, you have a pop-up saying that, hey, some device is connected. This example is my Galaxy Note 5. So what I'm gonna do is actually open my computer. Again, it might be different on Windows Vista, XP, or Windows 7, I'm using Windows 10. So, so I have to open up this PC. On other versions of Windows, this PC is referred to as my computer, for example. I then go into my Galaxy Note 5. And here's my phone. You might have a secondary one showing up here, basically if your device has a memory card, so you can choose between which one to access. If I open it up here, if I want to access, say, my pictures and videos from my camera, it's usually in the DCIM folder. You can go here, and then camera, and here's all my pictures and videos that have been recorded. So if I want to transfer something, say, for example, to my computer, I copy that, and I can paste it here and I now have this file on my computer. Now if I want to transfer something from my computer to the phone, so let's take my video recording files for this very same video you guys are watching, I can just copy and paste from the computer to the phone and there it is. Now let's assume that you've done all that already. You know, your, your phone should actually start appearing in my computer. This is pretty much what it looks like if you open my computer or this PC, depending on which operating system version of Windows you have, it'll have a different name, but it should just appear there. Sometimes it'll appear right in your face on Windows 7, for example, a pop-up window and you're set to go. Let's say it doesn't appear. This is where we have some troubleshooting fixes that I'm aware of. So. In this example, if you have any lock screen security set, so if you have like a fingerprint scanner activated to unlock your lock screen, if you have a pin or a passcode, you need to unlock it first. So if I were to, you know, just connect this as is to my computer, it won't work because I have a fingerprint security activated. In order to connect it to my computer, disconnect it from your computer first if you've already done that. So disconnect it, it's just like this. Unlock your screen. So in this example, I have fingerprint security. I've now unlocked it. Now reconnect it to the wire and reconnect it to your computer and it should work. This is done on purpose because if you have lock screen security, technically you shouldn't be able to access the files without bypassing your security code or fingerprint scanner. Another fix is maybe the wire that you have is defective. 
Try to use the one that comes out of the box. You'd be surprised how sometimes using the right wire might be the fix. It's happened to me. I go through a lot of Android devices. It's random, but it happens. Uh, sometimes the one that out of the box maybe is defective. Maybe you've worn something out. Um, you'll see some wear and tear here. Maybe you gotta get a third party wire or maybe just borrow one from a friend. The other most common thing is finding the right driver. Driver, long story short, is basically an instruction manual, not for you, uh, but for the computer. So let's put it this way, it's a piece of software that when you install it on your computer, it's telling your computer how to detect and work with your Android device. So how do you go about finding that out? Well, I actually have a video, you can find the link here and also in the video description, where I explain what drivers are and how to find the correct one for your device if your device isn't working with your computer. Now I know you might be wondering why do I have to watch another 4-5 or five minute video but I highly suggest you actually watch that entire video because I explain what drivers are. Very simplified but drivers are not just for your phone, it's for your USB stick if you have a memory stick, it's for your digital camera if you're plugging one in, it's for your microphone if you have one plugged in. Drivers are needed for almost anything plugged into your computer. It's just necessary. In fact it's also designed for components already inside your computer. You just might not be aware of it if you're not that tech savvy. So you might be missing the correct drivers. In that video driver, uh, I also explain not only what drivers are, but how to find ones that are missing for your device. It's really simple actually. It's more simple than you might realize. Um, the other thing is I've noticed that if I leave my computer on for too long or if I had Windows updates installed in the background, I can plug this in, I, I can do all the steps, I can unlock this phone security, I can have the correct drivers already in my computer and everything. I can be using a good wire and it still won't work on my computer and the one port is connected to my Android device, the other port I plug into a USB port on my computer, it just won't work. And sometimes I just disconnect it and plug it into another USB port and then it starts working. That's for two reasons, either your computer, that physical port is broken, or the other thing is maybe your computer, computer just needs a restart. It's purely random and sometimes you've got to just change the USB port. So that's pretty much the video on how to, you know, share files between your Android device and your computer. It's really straightforward. It used to be complicated uh, maybe a couple years ago when I made that other video, but nowadays it's easy. It's just if it's not working, the fixes might be a little bit tricky and that's what I just explained to you guys. It could be a faulty wire, faulty USB port on your computer, uh, bad drivers. Do watch that video on how to you know understand drivers and how to get the correct one. Uh, maybe you have to bypass your lock screen security, which a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, but those are usually the most common fixes to bypass that issue. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.